to explain it to me. <laughs> but all the future starts with the past. And they're both contained inside those walls right there. There'll come a day, not far away, when living out in outer space is no big deal. That day began the day that man first put his mind to work and came up with the wheel. Sometimes it takes a few mistakes before a great idea takes wing and starts to fly. But the progression and foundation of our means of transportation all resulted from a man who said, let's try. Do you really think I'll ever live in outer space? Oh, I don't know. I, you probably will. A as a matter of fact, in the future, you might be going to Mars High School. Do they give homework? <laughs> probably. You call that progress? Well, progress is in the eye of the beholder. Take energy, for instance. That's a good one. Beneath the ground, there once was found a large supply of high-grade oil and natural gas. While on the shore, a dinosaur would stand and watch the prehistoric era pass. Men worked today to find a way to stretch the fuel supply, which now has gotten tight. But when the fuel supply is done for, we may all turn to the sun for all the energy and power, heat and light. Who ever thought of that? Oh, what do you mean, about using the sun? Yes. Well, that idea has been around for centuries. But it took some very sharp people to make it work. But every generation builds on the information that has gone before them. In days gone by, great men would try to put their knowledge down for other men to see. The world took note of what they wrote and passed it on in many ways to you and me. The printing press helped us progress. The telegraph and telephone and TV too. And every step along the way there was a person who would say there must be still a million more great things to do. And there were, and there are, and there always will be. And it's all out there just waiting for little old you.